Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 5 of my Wingnut Wing Sop with Dolphin build. In today's episode we're going to be painting the engine and some of the office furniture. So let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on! What I'm doing here is giving all the wooden parts a coat of deck tan to give them a base colour. Some I'll leave this colour and others I will give a light mahogany wash to simulate either dark wood or leather. For those interested I'm using my KK Moon airbrush with a 0.4 needle, gives good coverage, at about 15 psi. And there we have all the wooden parts sprayed. Now to clean the airbrush. Has anyone else noticed you spend more time cleaning your brush than you do using it? Anyway, let's crack on and deal with some painting. This time the copper pipes. We did the brass in the last episode, now it's time for the copper. Right, now for a bit of dry brushing. I'm using a three pound double ended, all right, quiet at the back, no sniggering, makeup brush. See, you're all wrong on that one. This brush is fantastic. That's because of the rounded end. I said no sniggering to the brush, the rounded end to the brush. With it being like this, it doesn't leave any stroke marks. Gordon Bennett, that was full of double entendres. Oh yeah, I'm using Titanium Silver by Tamiya to do the dry brushing. The reason I showed the paint to one of my other cameras is I was on the Models for Heroes show at the time. Also, Malcolm, keep up the amazing work. You do an outstanding job. And also, congratulations on your recent Point of Light award. So totally deserved. Very, very well done. Ooh, look, a show and tell. Get me. Anyway, 
this is how it looks. I love how well these types of brushes work. Anyway, let's crack on and carry on with some more dry brushing. A quick dry fit, then we can get this little tinker glued together. And there we have the main parts of the engine glued. Now to crack on with dry brushing and gluing the rest of the engine components together. I have to say, I'm really sorry for getting my baldy head in the way. I didn't realise how bald I'm actually going. That's scary for someone my age. Here I'm using my homebrew mahogany, that's Vallejo mahogany 71036 with two or three drops of white added to paint the seat of the cockpit and I use that for any really dark wood and leather, it, it works both ways. Here you go, this is what it looks like. Here I decided to make up my own colour for the wood. I used dark yellow with a few drops of my homebrew mahogany and as you can see the colour came out really well. I'm quite chuffed with this. So onwards and upwards, let's crack on with paint in the office. That's one side done, now for the other. And there's side two, well done. Now to get those Lewis Gun magazines painted. You know, the ones under his seat. What do you mean he didn't see them? Oh yeah, my head's in the way. <laughs> oh well, anyway, 
let's crack on with them. Oh, get me. I've got not one, but two show and tells. Beat that one. Anyway, firstly, the seat and the progress on that. Not too shabby. Now the engine. That will look awesome with a bit of paint on it. I'm chuffed. Now to spray some of the dark grey parts of the office. Well, that seems like a good place as any to end episode 5. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modellers as possible. Like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep modelling.